Cancer, this is Elijah Keating from Wisdom Seekers for the middle of July to the end, 2018. And let's see what we shall see. So far, for the other signs I've read for, it's been quite a, quite a mixed bag. Really good. Some not quite so good. But I'm not going to go any further than that. Okay, so for you, Cancer, a new day dawns. And let's see what that means for you, a new day dawning. And for a lot of us right now, well, in fact, the majority of us on planet Earth, it is, in fact, a new day dawning for us. It's taking us through the uh, mill, so to speak, to get there. But ultimately... The results are going to be worth it. So for this next little period for cancer, let's see what a new day dawning actually means. Princess of Pentacles. The Princess of Pentacles is the energy of being surrounded by beauty and becoming aware that it is beautiful, attracting to you that which is necessary and which you uh, which you need in the physical more so than in the spiritual but what we need physically we often need spiritually so it is a mix and a good mix so far let's see what next they have to say okay i'm just going to grab another one to see where it goes and what this is telling me then is this is where you're headed and this is how you're feeling. And this is frustration. And usually when you're in between that which was and that which will be, it is a very frustrating time. I know, I've been there a few times. And it feels like walking in a fog where you cannot see where to put the next footstep. It, it passes. And we look at other people and we wish we had what they had. Because at this point, we cannot see what we have ourselves. How long is that going to last? Well, a new day dawning, so let's see what it means. I'm going to pull another card to go with that, because that one's an easy one to read, but this one should come first. Okay, got it. So this is not going to last the full two weeks, obviously, because what's happening Unless you're extremely stubborn. Cancer, I know you can be very stubborn. But you also have the biggest heart I know. So you're going to allow more of your heart to open. And that means you're going to learn to trust who you are. Because as you open your heart, you can trust others. But more importantly, and it's always more important, that you trust yourself. Trust the voice that you hear in your head is your voice, not not your nana's, not your mother's, not your father's, not the teacher in grade three. Your voice. Okay. How are we going to get through it? We're going to be steadfast. We're going to continue to do what we know how to do and to do well. And we're going to trust ourselves. And what the result will be? Well, this is what uh, I've been saying about love lately. The more you love yourself, the more you can love. The more you love yourself, the more you will attract love to you. And it might be, first off, it might be the love of a friendship to begin with. Does not mean it will stay in that realm. In fact, I'm pretty darn certain if you're looking for a mate, which some people are, that that is the next step but first you might step out and attract a good friend just to try the waters out and if that good friend is of the sex that you you are inclined to it could turn out that that friend turns into a lover because and i say this all the time first become friends 
because if it's going to be a lifetime event, you want to grow old at, with a friend. Can you imagine at 90 years old going, Oh, darling, do you remember when? If there's no friendship, of course you can't. The more you love you, the more you're going to attract love. And this kind of love is highly spiritual. So it is the kind that lifts you up and takes you back to where you belong. And right now, with the earth changes and everything, we are simply returning home to that which is normal, our or who we have always wanted to be. Not wanted to be, who we are. We're just returning to who we are. And the love card was actually the last one, but I pulled the world anyhow. And the world is giving us gifts for all the hard work we're doing. Not really. We're just remembering who we are. We're remembering how to do what we always have been able to do. Which whatever kind of Clairs you have that are coming to you just remember you're remembering them you're not you're, they're not really gifts they are part of who you are and that is far more important to know that you are receiving what you deserve rather than that you're receiving a gift no one receives gifts we receive what we deserve so with you becoming highly empathic, learn how to handle it. If you're becoming a telepath, learn how to deal with it. If you're becoming clairsentient, again, learn how to deal with it. And it might be you simply have to go into a meditation state and ask to remember. Or you might want to take classes. It depends. It all depends on how how you like to interact with people. All right, Cancer. So that's exactly what I've been saying. Reveal your truth. Be who you are. A new day dawns. And that means that you are becoming your true self. And your true self it's never going to be who you think it is. It's always going to be who you truly are. And with that, Cancer, it has been such a pleasure. Namaste. Namasco.